Welcome back to Grandpa's Time. Hey grandkids, I just had a few minutes sitting here waiting to pick up Jackson from from school and I thought I would do a quick video on peer pressure. Kind of inspired by another video channel I just got done watching and got me thinking this uh, the guy in the other channel is called American Reversion and he was talking about a group of gang members that killed a guy in Des Moines, Iowa. And I just sat there and I said to myself, geez, Louise, you know, Des Moines, Iowa. But it's the kind of crap that's everywhere now. And I just wanted to talk about that for a second because I wonder how many of those guys were thinking when they were sitting in their cars before they went and shot this kid and wounded two other two girls i wonder what they were if any of them were knowing it was a bad idea and just so you don't think i'm an old fuddy daddy kendrick lamar has a peer pressure song that he wrote it kind of talks about some of this it's got a lot of curse words in it so i'm not going to link to it or anything but you can find it if you really want to but it talks about peer pressure and you're driving around knowing that you knowing what you're doing is wrong, but you know all your friends are doing it. And there's a thing called pluralistic ignorance, which I'm not big on talking about. You know, big just uh, not big on super terms and all that stuff. But uh, I did look this one up, and it talks about. People thinking that a minority view is actually a majority view. I see that a lot in America nowadays. But, you know, you see it. Uh, the one study that they talked about was with college drinking. And they said most most young undergraduates, they didn't really want to drink, but they thought that was the norm. And so they were going along with their friends or whatever. And you take that for what it's worth. They're, they're all adults. It kind of goes into this thing called uh, your circle of influence, you know, and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I talk about circle of influence and you, you might hear me talk about it, grandkids, because I'm sure that I've mentioned this to you if you've gotten old enough to, to where you can hear this. But I've, I've talked about circle of influence and, and most of the time what I'm talking about is People, if you're hanging around with a bunch of guys that make fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year, you're probably making fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year. If you want to be a millionaire or you want to be a business owner, you need to hang out with other millionaires and other business owners. You need to talk to them and need to know what they know. Sort of the same thing if you think about it. I mean, you're you don't want to be the only guy that's not a millionaire, right? Well, you don't want to also, you're sitting in a room with a bunch of guys that are smoking pot. <clears throat> you don't want to be the only guy that's not smoking pot. It's just because they're your friends or whatever. And, and you know, the thing is, honestly, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm getting off on a few tangents, but most of them aren't your friends. And your friends won't care if you do something or don't do it. Mm. Most of the time, people are trying to normalize what they're doing by having people around them do it. That's my experience. Take it for what you want. That's just my experience. And, uh, you know, it's the same with, uh, with, with sex. Okay. And maybe I'll do another video on this sometime, but in normalizing, Sex before marriage. This country's normalized sex before marriage. I, I'm not going to get into <clears throat> what I think about it too much, except to say that just because all your friends say you've had sex, or they've had, excuse me, just because your friends have all said they've had sex doesn't mean it's true, and it doesn't mean you have to, okay? And, you know, they talk about being a virgin like it's a bad thing. And waiting for the right person is a bad thing. Or, 
you know, you need experience or whatever. Well, it's all a bunch of nonsense and most of them are lying. Anyway, I, I, I don't know how much else I can say about this. You know, you, you have to make your own decisions, but I'll tell you one thing I will say. If you're 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, and you're looking around at your friends and you're saying, or you're the parent of one of my grandkids and you're sitting there looking at their, their kids and you're wondering what to do with them. And I would just maybe talk to them and her grandkids, I'm talking to you. Just think to yourselves, how many of, ask me. How many of my friends from when I was 14 or 15 or 16 do I know today? How many from when I was in my 20s? I can tell you that it's very, very few even in my 20s and none from when I was a teenager. Absolutely zero. So think about that. Those people that are leading you down the path first of all you're you're not supposed to be being led by anybody you should be leading in a positive way and you know there's groups of people just like there's groups of people that are doing the wrong thing there's people that are doing the right thing and maybe they're the nerds or whatever but it's not my experience all right love you guys talk to you later